Okay, John, this is uh, my effort to record a tutorial for you. Go to Yahoo Finance and then key in your ticker symbol for Apple. <clears throat> and when you're looking at the stock, you can see it closed at 596. Come over here and click on Options. And this will show you the um, option chains for the call options gives you the right to buy the stock at a specific price or put options it gives you the right to sell the stock at a specific price so here you see the March contracts the April contracts June September etc so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the April contracts since we're almost done with March each option contract has an expiration date so they expire after a period of time okay I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to uh, something around six hundred dollars so the six hundred dollar call option contract is seventeen dollars and ninety cents one contract controls one hundred shares so this contract would cost you one thousand seven hundred ninety dollars to guarantee your right to purchase Apple stock at six hundred dollars a share okay if we scroll down farther <coughs> we see the put options the put options guarantee your right to put the stock on somebody or sell the stock at a guaranteed price so again we're going to go down to around the six hundred dollar range so if you wanted to put the stock on somebody for six hundred dollars per share one hundred shares that's going to cost you twenty one dollars and fifty cents for the april contract that guarantees your right to sell the stock to somebody at six hundred dollars a share that's handy if the stock drops to uh, 580 uh, or you know 570 bucks a share that gives you that buys you insurance uh, for a stock completely collapsing on you I'll explain more later the put option contract gives you the right to put the stock on somebody else or buy it the call option contract gives you the right to call the stock from somebody else or buy it from them <clears throat> at the specific strike price that you selected in your contract and these are the ticker symbols for the various contracts I hope that makes sense okay see you later